Hello again, Internet. So today I wanted to talk to you about what I think the power structure is in the Straw Hat crew. Not the fleet. I think I'll do another video on that. I'm, I want to go through power structures in uh, a bunch of different systems like the Anko, the Warlords, the Navy, um, and then other pirates like the Worst Generation. But for now, I just want to talk about um, the people that are on the Sunny, that normally travel with the Sunny, that have officially joined the crew. So not like Jinbei, who I'm, who I think we can all accept is going to be joining the crew once they get to Whole Cake Island. And not like Kinemon and Kanjuro, who have been traveling with the Strats, Orwa, just the people that have joined the crew. So the nine official crew members. So I think to start off, we know that the Monster Trio's at the top. Um, specifically, Luffy is the very top of the Straw Hats. And then there's been a lot of debate about whether Zoro or Sanji are the next strongest. Personally, I think Oda hasn't shown enough in the New World for us to make a definitive conclusion. But from what he has shown of these two, I think we can say that Zoro is the strongest. It might change, depend, like, Otis said that this is the year of Sanji, 2016 is. So we, and, so as we see more fights, more solo fights for Zoro and Sanji against stronger opponents, especially since I think Zoro's about to fight Jack, and I've talked about that in another video you can go check out if you want. Um, but I think, for right now, what we know, what we've seen since the time skip, Zoro is stronger than Sanji. Um, and I'll go over that really quick. So, we haven't seen a whole lot of individual fights for either of them. Um, Fishman Island, they both had fights, but... Um, and so, the reason I think that in Fishman Island, Zoro proved his strength more, one, he took on King Neptune, which we don't really know King Neptune's strength, but he took him on pretty easily. And then he took on... Um, the assassin whose name I'm pointing on, and Sanji took on Watatsumi, the sea monk, but Jinbei helped him in that fight, so, you know, what can you really say about that fight, and those fights were really just to show the progression that the characters had made during the time skip, so it's hard to really say anything about those fights, um, but then Punk Hazard, neither of them had really individual fights, but against the um, I guess for Monet, Zoro really showed his strength. Like, he was able to beat a Logia Fruit user without even using hockey. Uh, I mean, we're pretty sure that he used Conqueror's hockey to terrify her, but he didn't actually, like, cut her. Um, and in Punk Hazard, all Sanji was used for was to show Virgo's strength. He didn't even use, like, his armament hockey during that, um, that fight. But he, so Zoro, uh, Oda was just using Sanji to show Virgo's strength. And again, in um, Dress Rosa, he just used Sanji to show Doflamingo's strength again. Uh, because Sanji tried to stop Doflamingo and kind of gave up after a few attempts, after like a small attempt. So we haven't seen a lot from Sanji except from the fact that he beat um, Sheep's Head. Um, Anzo, which is pretty impressive, and then, or we can assume it's pretty impressive because he's a direct subordinate of one of the Calamities, Jack, so, and then Zoro beat um, Pika, but again, he was just toying with Pika the whole time, so that didn't really show Zoro's strength because we don't know how strong Pika really was, but I still think that Oda has set it up so far that Zoro is at least a little bit stronger than Sanji is, and um, so so that's how the monster trio goes, in my opinion, Luffy, Zoro, Sanji, but those two aren't separated by much, and honestly, from what we've seen, you could argue that Zoro is stronger than Luffy, it would be a stupid argument because Oda wouldn't do that, and uh, Zoro even admitted that Luffy's stronger during the Fishman arc, Fishman Island arc, because he said that when Luffy used Conqueror's Hockey, he said, if the captain couldn't do that, 
like he would have to step down. So he's saying that he respects Luffy and Luffy's stronger than him. Uh, and the only reason you could argue that Luffy isn't because Luffy's had a tough time with all of his opponents. But Zoro's breezed through. But that's just Oda not showing the opponent's strength. Uh, and it being hard to judge how strong the opponents are, not necessarily how strong the Straw Hats are. So, then the fourth strongest Straw Hat, I think this is a bit controversial, but I think it's Usopp. And before Usopp unlocked hockey, it would be a tough call to make, but because again, we haven't seen a lot of one-on-one -on -one fights so far in the new world, but um, if you think about it, it makes sense. Because if you look at what everyone did during training, during the two years, the, um, so Frankie built weapons and enhanced his cyborgness. Uh, Chopper learned about medicine. Nami learned about the weather. Robin rode around with the um, revolutionaries. And Frankie, or not Frankie, Brooke learned about music. And obviously they all did uh, physical training as well because they've gotten a lot stronger. But the other four, especially when people notice this with the Monster Trio a lot, all they did the whole time was fight every single day. They've said it, they have themselves have said it. They fought against unbeatable opponents, opponents that they couldn't dream of beating when they started the fight, and then did end up beating. And that's exactly what Usopp did too, because the insect, when he got to the Bone Islands, I think that's what they're called, sorry if I got that wrong, he couldn't, he had no dream of beating those insects, but Hercules and trained him, and he came out able to beat them all if he wanted to, presumably. Um, so I think that made Usopp, the fact that that's what his training was, shows that Usopp's gotten extremely strong, and I also think Oda giving Usopp hockey is his way of saying, yeah, this guy is the fourth strongest. Um, and it makes complete sense because Usopp's one of the original crew members, and just like Luffy and Zoro, his only real task on the crew is to fight. Everyone else has another task. Uh, Sanji's the cook, Nami's the navigator, Robin's the archaeologist, Brooke's the musician, Frankie's the shipwright, Chopper's the doctor. But the other three just fight. That's all they do. So it's so giving Usopp hockey was um, Oda's way not of giving Usopp another strength, but of saying of recognizing Usopp's strength because hockey is the manifestation of one's inner strength. So giving him hockey is saying, yeah, Usopp's gone extremely strong. Um, after that, after those four, it's extremely hard to rank them because we haven't seen a lot of fights. We've never really seen any one-on-one -on -one fight from Robin. So, but we, her devil fruit power is extremely powerful. She can take out large groups instantly. Um, Frankie, like no one's had a one-on-one -on -one fight since Ennis Lobby, except for Fishman Island, um, except for the Monster Trio, and Sanji's didn't even come to a close. Usopp's, uh, Usopp had one against Sugar, but that was kind of a joke one because he didn't beat her by fighting at first. Um, yeah, and then Frankie had one against Senior Pink. So I'm going to put Frankie at number five because I think Oda's shown Frankie's strength so far. He fought against Senior Pink and he fought against um, Baby Five and Buffalo. And I think... Oda was showing Frankie's strength, even though a lot of his attacks have seemed really gimmicky. He has the radical beam. He has the general Frankie. Like, Frankie has gotten a lot stronger, and so I'm going to put him at five. And then Brooke at six, because, um, again, when you think about Brooke, before the time skip, Brooke was stronger than... Brooke was probably my number four before the time skip. So I think it makes sense that he's still stronger than Chopper, although... Chopper has gotten the monster point under control now, but he can still only use it for three minutes, and right after that, he's done for a long time. So I think it's safe to say Brooke's stronger than um, Chopper. And then after Chopper, I'd give it to... Uh, 
it's probably tied between Nami and Robin. I don't know who to rank above because neither of them have had an individual fight since the New World. And we haven't really seen their strength since the New World, but we know Robin trained with Dragon and Sabo and Koala and stuff. So she must have gotten a lot stronger. And she's been able to avoid the world government while putting herself out there on her own. So I think she's probably gotten a lot stronger. And Nami, like, if you remember when Nami first got to Weatheria, uh, the scientist whose name I'm forgetting said to her that the weather ball could turn the world upside down. And she said, oh, turn it into a weapon? Like, could it be a weapon? She said, why would you do that? That's crazy. You could destroy everything, basically. So Oda's given Nami an extremely strong weapon that I think we just haven't seen a lot of yet. So it's hard to rank those bottom for Brook, um, Brook Chopper, Robin and Nami. And this ranking might be different. Uh, beyond the top three, the top three are obviously Luffy, Zoro, and Sanji, with Sanji and Zoro maybe flipping positions or maybe being equal. But after that, it's extremely hard to rank them because we haven't seen fights and we don't know how much stronger they've gotten. But I do think Usopp is the fourth strongest, mostly because I think that's the way Oda's been setting it up by giving Usopp, um, giving Usopp a, just a fight every day since during the two years. Like that's all he did was learn how to get stronger as a fighter. And by giving Usopp hockey, I think it, he, it was Oda's way of showing Usopp's, Usopp's strength. So I think those top four are set in stone. It goes the Monster Trio and then Usopp. And then after that, it's really hard to say, but I think it's Frankie, Brooke, Chopper, Robin, Nami. Um, so yeah, let me know what you think of that. And until next time, stay classy, internet.